Hi everybody, this video is going to talk about how to use our guru to perform hypothesis testing to compare two populations. And when we do that, we have to take two samples. So you may have watched an earlier video where we've completed some of the examples that we're gonna be doing in this video, but we completed them with a TI calculator. This time we're gonna do the same ones, but we're gonna do it with our guru. So let's skip to, uh, here's an example, uh, comparing diets. It says, are low fat diets or low carb diets more effective for weight loss? A sample of 77 subjects went on a low carbohydrate diet for six months. At the at the end of that time, the sample mean weight loss was 4.7 kilograms with a sample standard deviation of 7.16 kilograms. A second sample of 79 subjects went on a low-fat diet. Their sample mean weight loss was 2.6 kilograms with a standard deviation of 5.90 kilograms. Can you conclude that the mean weight loss differs between the two diets? So in the TI calculator, we do a two-sample t-test for this. Uh, but in our guru, uh, basically we look at it and we see we're comparing um, two populations, um, the population of uh, low-fat dieters to low-carb dieters to see um, if there's a difference in the weight loss between the two diets. And so we're testing the, the means here and uh, to see if there's a difference between those. So you can see where we wrote the null and the alternate hypothesis. Uh, on the side, I wrote the statistics that they gave us in the problem. Okay, so if you're doing this problem in our guru, you're gonna go to analytics like you did for the one population testing. And under analysis, you're gonna choose mean inference. But this time, instead of choosing one population, which is what we've been choosing uh, for the previous uh, hypothesis testing that we've done up to this point, we're now going to choose one and two population. And so then you'll see uh, a box pop up. Uh, if you have a data set, um, you can choose a data set at this point, but if you don't have one, you can just um, enter your data down here in this uh, yellowish portion. So we have uh, population one versus population two, and they always like us to give labels. So the first set of data they give us, um, a sample of 77 subjects went on a low carb diet. So I'm gonna label um, low carb weight loss, and then the population two will be low fat weight loss. Um, the sample mean was for the low carb was 4.7 and the standard deviation was 7.16 and a sample size I believe of 77 oops put that here skip population standard deviation for this one. For low fat the sample mean weight loss was 2.6 with a sample standard deviation of 5.9 or 5.90 and a sample size of 79. Okay, so once you have that filled in, um, if you wanted to do individual tests, you could click population one, population two, but we're doing a test for comparison. So you're gonna skip over to population one, two. Um, and then we're not gonna worry about the confidence interval. We're just gonna go straight to the hypothesis test. We need to put in our significance level, which is 0.01. And they wanted to know if we could conclude that there was a difference. So for difference, you would do not equal to. Um, now, this is what's gonna be different. Um, we're trying to see if there's a difference. So if you were to subtract two numbers uh, and there's no difference, then uh, you would get the answer of zero. So if there is a difference, that means that when you subtract mean one and mean two, it's not gonna be equal to zero because there would be a difference. So the number that you put here 
for this type of test is always going to be a zero. And then this is going to be a T statistic because they gave us sample standard deviations. And um, over here on the right side, we have assumptions, paired data. That is a type of test we'll run eventually, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, but they ask about variances. And if, unless they tell you, assume that they're unequal variances. And so they don't really mention variances here at all. Um, but you may have some that do specify that variances are equal. So just make sure that you look for that in the problem. Um, so just, you know, as a default, leave it as unequal variances unless they say difference. And that's basically it. That's basically it. So then we hit our preview button. You can see a data summary. Um, but basically what we're looking for is our p-value over here on the right. P-value is 0 0.047729. That's the same thing that we got here. That is greater than 0 0.01, so we fail to reject. So that means there's not enough evidence to conclude that the mean weight loss differs between the two diets. And if we look here, um, we can see it was a two-tailed test. And you can see our p-value is bigger, uh, the shaded region is bigger than 0.01 uh, because the shaded region is uh, 0.04473. And um, yeah, so um, let's look at uh, another problem, but this time we're going to look at one where they. Um, give us the data and not the statistics. So this is birth order and IQ. It says in a study of birth order and intelligence, IQ tests were given to 18 and 19 year old men to estimate the size of the difference, if any, between the mean IQs of firstborn sons and secondborn sons. The following data for 10 firstborn sons and 10 secondborn sons are consistent with the means and standard deviations reported in the article. It is reasonable to assume that the samples come from populations that are approximately normal. And then they give us a list of firstborn and secondborn uh, IQ scores. It says, can you conclude that there is a difference in mean IQ between firstborn and secondborn sons? So um, if we go to our guru, we would need to um, go to data and click on data import, but then hit create a new data set and so um, for the firstborn row there were 10 numbers so I would hit this button here for add a single row until I had 10 and then you can change the variable name so um, so maybe I'll, I'll name it firstborn IQ and then if I want another column which I do I would click oops All right, I would click this button here, and then variable two would be second born IQ scores. And then you'll click in here, and then you would type all of those in, and then you could name um, this something like um, IQ of first and sec second born sons. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to show you. I've and then you'd hit save as, and then that would pop up um, over here on the under your data pane, um, your data set pane. So you can see I have IQ scores of firstborn and secondborn sons that I already created here. So now, if I want to run a test to see if there's a difference, I would go to uh, analytics analysis, mean inference, just like before, one and two population. I would select my data set, which is called IQ of first and second born. And then you would choose your first variable, which would be first born. And you'll see data pops up below here under population one, uh, second born over here. Um, this would be a good one for paired data, but they did not specify that this was paired data. Um, these were completely separate samples and they were independent. So let's not choose paired here. Uh, click over to population one and two, test hypothesis, significance level was 0.01, like in the last example. 
and we want to see if there's a difference. So that would be not equal to zero. And then T statistic, unequal variances, click the preview, we get a p-value of 0.8646, which you can see is really large. Um, so if we go back here, uh, 0.8646 was the p-value, so we failed to reject the null. If we fail to reject, that means there's not enough evidence to conclude H1, which was that there was a difference in mean IQ between firstborn and secondborn sons. Okay, so um, there we have it. That is how you find the um, do a hypothesis test for uh, uh, two sample means to see if there's a difference. Um, just going back here, um, if you wanted to see if the mean IQ of firstborn sons was greater than that of secondborn sons, you would have just chosen the greater than sign, but you keep the number on the right, you keep that zero. Okay, um, now that doesn't affect how we write our null and R our alternative hypothesis. You're still going to write it like we wrote it here in the previous videos when we did this. Um, but uh, in our guru, you're going to keep zero as the number there. Okay, so um, that is all for testing uh, two population means. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how to test two population proportions.